Hi everybody, I'm out here enjoying a little bit of rose hip tea. This is a first for me and it's actually kind of good. I want to show you today another wild edible, rose hips. Hi everybody, I'm outside and enjoying a little bit of rose hip tea in my cool Garfield cup. I know you love it, right? Um, I want to show you about rose hips. I never knew that they were anything useful until sort of recently and I'm going to show you what those look like. We have a lot of wild roses that grow around here and they're a, a pink rose with five petals on it and the petals of the flower are edible as well as the rose hips. Now rose hips are actually the seed pod that grow on the plant after the blossom kind of dies away. And this is what they look like. This is a rose bush that we have out back here. And the rose hips are these little red things on here. Sometimes they look a little orangey, but this is a whole bunch of them here. You can see all the leaves and blossoms are all gone now. It's November, and this is about the best time to pick them. Um, if you get them after a frost, then they're more likely to be a little sweeter than earlier. Rose hips are a really good source of vitamin C, and I read that they have 20 times the vitamin C as oranges do. So quite a bit. They also have some vitamin A and vitamin E in them. This is a picture of what a wild rose looks like during the summer months when it's in bloom. And to harvest the rose hips, you just pick them and you can cut the end of it off and open it up and take the seeds out and the rest of it is what you use. You can dry them or use them fresh and people use them in things like um, tea like I showed you a minute ago as well as um, jellies and jams, sauces, uh, seasonings, salad dressings, ice cream topping, barbecue sauce, a whole bunch of different possibilities there. So if you find some rose hips around, um, pick some and try some recipes out. There's a lot of them on the internet right now. And um, the only word of caution is don't pick rose hips that are on a plant that has um, pesticides being used on it. And if you aren't sure, just leave them be. Um, it's better off to be sure about something like that. I'll try to show you here what it looks like on the inside of one of these. Just kind of take that end off. And you can sort of squeeze it like this and see it opens up. And there's seeds inside. These have a lot of seeds in them. And you want to take those out. Just kind of dig them out of there. And what's left is the little pieces of fruit. There's not much here because these are small. But you can dry these and use them um, for teas and things like that. So there's the part that you would use. To make a tea, you want to use um, a couple tablespoons of these and maybe a little bit less than that if you use dried ones. And steep them in some boiling water for about 10 minutes or so. And I sweeten mine with honey. So there you go, another wild edible for you to try. And I'm gonna wrap this up because we got thunderstorms coming and it's really windy out. So I'll catch you later, bye.